This video is about how is man's life a vanity. Hi, I'm Bake Adafi, and this is Bible Study Verse by Verse. If you open your Bible to the New Testament, to the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, we'll begin in just a moment. 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 23 through 25. It says there, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. For all flesh is grass, as grass, and, as the, and the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withers, and the flower thereof falls away. But the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word which, by the gospel, is preached unto you. How is man's life a vanity? It says here, all flesh is grass. In particular, in verse 24, for all flesh is as grass. So our flesh and our bones and our bodies, he compares to grass. And the glory of us, man, like the flower of the grass. Here's what happens. The grass withers and the flower thereof falls away. So he's comparing the word of God and the gospel to man. The, the corrupt seed is the man, us, and the incorrupt seed is the word. Our first birth into the world was of the corrupt seed. Man's best compared to God's word comes up short. Look at 1 Corinthians 15, verse 21a and 22a. It says, for by, by man, that is Adam, came death. Adam brought death into the world by his disobedience of God as sin. Verse 22 says, For in Adam all die. Romans 5, verse 12, then verse 17a, 18a, and 19a say, says this, For as by one man, that's Adam, sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came unto all men to condemnation, for as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners. So Romans is, is, is contrasting uh, what Adam did and how man fell with what Christ did. But we're just looking at what Adam did. That's the corrupt seed. That's the... Um, what makes us like grass? This comes out of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 6 through 8. And there it says, The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? And then this is what he's supposed to preach. All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof as the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flowers, flower fades, because the Spirit of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Men are born of corruptible seed. We're mortal. We're fading. We're withering. We're momentary. And we're temporary. Like the grass of the field, we spring up. There's flowers there. We have wealth. We have rank, we have beauty, we have talents, we have learning, we have degrees, we have splendor, and it all quickly fades away, like the flowers that wither and fall. That's the condition of mankind. Here's how we, important we are in the grand scheme of things. So don't flatter yourself. Listen to Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun. Everything. This guy is smart. This guy is wise. And behold, all is vanity and vexation of the spirit. Vanity and vexation without the word of God and without Christ and without a relationship to God. Everything we do is vanity and vexation of spirit. Therefore, we need to be empty of self so that God will fill us with his enduring word. What men do is temporary and fleeting, and it quickly passes away. But the word of God is eternal, and it lasts forever. Learn from the example of 
Nebuchadnezzar in the Old Testament. Let's just read that. It's in Daniel chapter 4. It's a little long, but it's verse 28 through verse 33. Nebuchadnezzar is uh, built this great kingdom. He's built Babylon and he is exalting himself and he's saying how wonderful he is. Then he's completely disregarded anything about God and God makes a prophecy about him and this prophecy is about to happen. All this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar at the end of 12 months. So 12 months after the prophecy happened, he was walking in the palace of his kingdom of Babylon. He had forgotten all about the prophecy. He's about to exalt himself. The king spoke and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power, for the honor of my majesty, and while the word was yet in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven, God's going to speak to him, saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from you, and they shall drive you from men, and you sh your dwelling shall be with the beast of the field, and they shall make you to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over you, until you know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will. He's going to be out in a field like an ox for seven years. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar. He was driven from men. The guy went mad. He did eat grass as oxen. His body was wet with the dew of heaven. He stayed out there all night for seven years. And his hairs were grown like eagle's feathers, and his nails like bird's claws. He turned him into an animal because of his exaltation of himself. Listen, the word of God stands forever, and all that men can do is vanity and vexation of spirit. The word is forever. Thanks for watching. I hope the Lord saves you as you commit yourself in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. I have hundreds of Bible teaching videos on my YouTube channel. You can click the red circle icon below to go there. Then you can click on the playlist and select the videos you'd like to watch. If you have questions or comments about this video, you can email me at all one word, Bible study, v by v at gmail.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Bible study, verse by verse.